Ephesians 4, 7 through 8 in the Message Bible, Paul says, but that doesn't mean you should all look and act and speak the same way. Out of the abundance of Christ's generosity, each one of us has been given his own gift. And the text for this is, he climbed the high mountain, he captured the enemy, and he seized the treasure, and then he handed it out as gifts to all the people. To some, he gave gifts seen by all, but to others, he gave background responsibilities. There is no part too small in the kingdom of God. Each one of us is called to serve, no matter how big the task or how small. Ladies and gentlemen, God does care about the small. In Matt, chapter 14, Jesus was about to speak to a large crowd that was following him all day and was very hungry. Among them, they had only five loaves of bread and two fish, not enough to feed the, the multitude of people, about 5,000. Jesus took what was small, blessed it, lifted it, lifted it in prayer up to heaven, and it was multiplied enough for all attendants to eat, all 5,000 people. I ask you, how small can one part be? But that's not all. In verse 20, it says that when all had eaten and been filled, they took up the fragments that remained, 12 baskets full, 12 baskets of leftovers. Maybe you feel like a small fragment in a world of so much more. God can use you. God will not waste you away. There is a part for you to play. He has called even the small. Twelve baskets were filled with leftover fragments. Imagine. When we all come together as one, big or small, what a beautiful sound it can be. 